definitions of temptation. The first one is the act of tempting, enticement, or allurement. Something that tempts, entices, or allures. The fact or state of being tempted, especially to evil. So all of the definitions and things I was looking for with temptation all had to do with something negative. None of them were ever something positive. You know, they were always connected to something evil. So my first one, uh, my first scripture is going to be in six, Matthew 6, 13, and it reads... And do not bring us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 And um, going off on that a little bit more into a little bit more um, into detail, um, the request is not a plea to be exempt from the common moral struggles of life, but that God would empower the disciples to have the moral strength to resist giving into evil during such struggles. So God is just constantly building us up and trying to like prepare us for a temptation that we're always going to go through. I mean, people say, hey, I'm a Christian. Why am I going through all this junk? And it's like, just because we're Christians doesn't mean we're not going to go through that. But the thing is, is that we have someone who's there with us through it all. And we have someone to rely on that won't change no matter what. Uh -huh. um, and then my second bullet, or my second um, scripture is in Matthew 26, 4. And it reads, And they conspired to arrest Jesus in a treacherous way. Oh, wait, no, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's 41. <laughs> that's probably why. Okay. Okay, and it reads, Stay awake and pray so that you won't enter temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Amen. So even though you go through all this stuff, you have to, you're constantly being built up by God. You know, sometimes you might struggle, sometimes you might go through all this, but you grow even when you do stumble and when you do get through it, you grow. And I think it's just so amazing how God is just constantly like teaching us through things that we go through every single day. Um, and my last scripture is in Psalms 51:12. 51. 12. 51 yeah, 12. Okay. And it reads, restore the joy of your salvation to me and give me a willing spirit. So that should always be our prayer to God is always giving us a willing and wanting to be better and willing and wanting to do what is right in his eyes. And that's all I have. Amen. Amen. Amen.